what is going on everyone, Nostalgia Now to 5, coming at you with another episode of the Mythological Conversations. The show where we analyze those different mythological creatures that inspired the Digimon we already discussed in the Explaining Digimon series. And I have to say that Digimon does have plenty of roots, maybe from Greek mythology or Egyptian, Latin America, you name it. And we are going to analyze all of them, which will certainly be very interesting, as it is always great to know more about those creatures and entities that were worshipped through time. Now, in the Explaining Padamon Armor Digivolution video, I explained that a particular Digi Egg would make the Digimon Armor Digivolve into Pegasusmon, a creature that is basically a horse with wings. The name says it all. Pegasusmon is based on Pegasus, a mythical winged divine stallion, one of the most recognized creatures in Greek mythology. Let us study what this creature is all about. I would like to start the video with a comment of my good friend Andres Marrero that wrote the following in the Nostalgia Not to Five community page. Not quite sure what I can add that isn't already commonly known. It is one of the offspring of Medusa that sprung out of her once her head was cut off. The other being a golden boar, I believe. Then again, there is a gazillion different origins for any one figure because of how jumbled up mythology is. I'm just glad that I may finally get to talk to you. As always, a very nice and sweet comment with a lot of truth. And to tell you the truth, I am also very happy to be able to talk to you and to everyone, actually. It is good to be back and to do more of these videos. I have planned some special activities, by the way, but I will tell more of it at the end of the video. Now... The origins of Pegasus are indeed quite mixed up, as there are indeed different versions, but I would say that the more common story about the birth would be the one that involves Medusa and Perseus. In case you do not know these characters, Medusa is a monster, obviously also in that same Greek mythology. She is known as a Gorgon, which is a term referring to any of three sisters who had hair made of living, venomous snakes, as well as a horrifying visage that turned those who beheld her to stone. In case you haven't seen the Explaining Gilmon episode, I mentioned a particular Digimon called Chaos Galantmon. It wears a demonic shield called Gorgon, and with that shield, it can fire a dark wave which corrodes everything. What you have to know about the three Gorgon sisters is that they are normally immortal. However, the sister Medusa was not, and she was slain by the demigod Perseus, the son of Zeus and the princess Danae. Let me also explain his side before going to Pegasus. At some point, Perseus and his mother were in danger and had to run away. They were rescued by a fisherman named Dictis, a fisherman that was also brother to King Polydectes, ruler of the island of Seriphos. The king fell in love with Perseus' mother. However, Perseus, who was old enough by the time, was very protective of his mother and would not allow the king to approach her or to be near her. That is why the king hatched a plot to get him out of the way. Under the pretense that the king was going to marry Hippodamia, the queen of Pisa, he ordered every man on the island to supply him with suitable gifts. As Perseus was not able to present something suitable, King Polydectes asked him to bring back the head of the Gorgon Medusa. Perseus was not allowed to return to the island without it. But then again, as mythology tells us, it was a plot. The intention was to make sure that Perseus would be killed so that the king would have his way with his mother Danae. After a fierce battle, Perseus was able to slay Medusa, supposedly using his shield as a mirror to avoid looking at her. And in the meanwhile, in the absence of Perseus, his mother was threatened and abused, or maybe even raped by King Polydectes. That is why she had to seek refuge in a temple where Perseus found her. Outraged, he ran into the throne room to confront the king that was surrounded by other nobles. They were all surprised to see the hero that was still alive, as he was supposed to die by Medusa. Perseus professed that he did indeed slay the Gorgon Medusa, and as proof, he revealed her severed head. And when Polydectes and his nobles gazed upon the prize, they were then turned to solid stone. What you have to know is that at the moment Medusa was beheaded by Perseus, depending on the different versions in Greek mythology, the beheading gave birth to the stallion Pegasus and his brother Chrysaur. So both of them are born from Medusa. And also considering the different versions, it is implied that the god of the sea called Poseidon had some involvement in their making, which actually also makes them his children. As far as I can tell, 
Pegasus sort of lived its life, but was eventually caught by a hero called Bellerophon, with the help of Athena and Poseidon. After taming the Divine Stallion, Pegasus allowed Bellerophon to ride him in order to defeat the monstrous Chimera, a fire-breathing hybrid creature of the sea in Asia Minor, meaning the Anatolian Peninsula. It is in fact a creature composed of the parts of more than one animal. And here is a quote written in the Iliad, which is an ancient Greek poem. It says the following about the creature. A thing of immortal make, not human, lion fronted and snake behind, a goat in the middle, and snorting out the breath of the terrible flame of bright fire. I have two things to add. First of all, the Chimera is in fact a sibling of creatures like the three-headed Cerberus and the Hydra, which is quite impressive. And secondly, in the Explaining Gazimon video, I mentioned a Digimon called Chimeramon, which is clearly based on the Chimera creature in Greek mythology. Also, very terrifying, very monstrous, and again, very interesting that Digimon take their inspiration from everywhere. This only shows how big the series really is. Pegasus, with Bellerophon on its back, fought the truly ferocious Chimera. It was yet another fierce battle, as he could not even harm the monster, even while riding on the Divine Stallion. However, ultimately, the duo were able to come out victorious. And that victory somehow affected Bellerophon. As his fame grew, so did his arrogance. Because of his victory over the Chimera, Bellerophon felt that he deserved to fly to Mount Olympus, the home of the gods. An act which angered Zeus, god of thunder. On his flight to Olympus on the back of Pegasus, Zeus sent a gadfly to sting the horse, causing Bellerophon to fall back to earth. And this fall caused him to become blind and also made him live his life in misery, grieving and shunning the haunts of men until he died. You can see it as the punishment of the gods. Pegasus, however, completed the flight to Olympus, where Zeus used the Divine Stallion as a pack horse for his thunderbolts. And because of his years of faithful service to Zeus, Pegasus was later honored by being transformed into the eponymous constellation that we to this day still know as Pegasus. It is told that when Zeus transformed it into a constellation, a single feather fell to the earth near the city Tarsus. Truly a very interesting story. It is actually the first time I got so deep into the story of Pegasus. Very, very impressive. Before we come to an end, I'd like to show you yet another comment written in the Nostalgia Not to Five community page. It is a comment written by Astheron K-Star that wasn't really sure whether this video was going to be about Pegasus Mon. And this is what was written. I feel like Pegasus Mon is too easy, even though I would love to watch that video. So I'm guessing it is Unimon. It is true that Unimon could have been used for this video, as it is also based on Pegasus. However, Unimon will be used for another video, as it also represents another creature known as the Unicorn. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I totally loved it. I loved working on it. Greek mythology has always been a subject I enjoyed studying and explaining. I hope it will somehow help you to love these stories even more, and I hope it's also going to make you love Digimon, as this mythological series really is based on the creatures in the Digimon franchise. And in this channel, I will do my best to assemble as much people as possible to help the Digimon franchise grow and to give Digimon the attention it really, really deserves. That is why I would love to ask you guys to subscribe and to come together. We will study more Digimon, meaning that we will also study more mythological creatures from all over the world. Again, may it be from Latin America or Greek mythology, Egyptian, doesn't matter. Also, little note, I will live stream here on YouTube on this very channel. That way I can talk to you more directly while playing all kinds of games. We can talk about Digimon or all subjects you want, doesn't matter. But I will make sure to warn you at least a day before I stream, that way a maximum of you guys can come. Again, my friends, do not forget to subscribe, do not, to leave, do not forget to leave a comment, as I always love using them to make the videos. And in case you are new, you can find all the Digimon and mythological videos in their respective playlists, which are always updated. That way you can easily catch up on newer and older videos. Thank you.